Good evening, everybody. Uh, we are back. It is Saturday night. Uh, I went uh, and did some work in uh, in some woods today, so doing some lumberjack stuff. That's why I'm in long sleeves and a hat and everything. But uh, we have ceiling fans uh, that are ready to go in this house, uh, and I've already installed one this morning in our bedroom. But I figured, hey, I should probably bring you guys along and show you how it's done and why we do it. So. We like installing ceiling fans in our bedrooms because it's just, it's nice to have a fan. And uh, so these ceilings are just tall enough to have them. I don't want to put them in any shorter ceilings, but so with no further ado, let's open this box here on the table and uh, I'll show you what's inside and then we'll install it together. Okay, so here's the fan unboxed. Uh, we got the fan blade uh, arms, which screw onto those, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. This is the, probably the most important thing you're going to pull out first, uh, which is the mounting bracket. Let me let out copper. He sees a deer or something. He's got to go chase. Want to go chase a deer? Go for it. He uh, has been digging in the yard and finding all kinds of stuff. He found a screwdriver. And... Uh, Whole bunch of sink parts. I'm not sure where they're coming from, but he's finding them. So benefits of having a good sniffer, I guess. But anyway, so this is the mounting bracket. This screws to your uh, light fixture box that's in the ceiling. And then you can mount this, which is the next portion of it that you mount. You slide this little square hole uh, onto the little hook, and I'll show you how to do that later. That way it holds it while you wire all these wires together. Because it used to be where you have to hold it with one hand and then wire with the other hand, or put it on the ladder and then wire it. It, it was a pain. And then this is the shroud that covers these, this right here. Uh, and then it's optional to have lights or no lights. You can see it's made for no lights right now. But you remove that bottom cap, and then you can put on this cap right here. And it has the light bulbs. And so then you install these next. Uh, and then you can install the light bulbs inside of those. Uh, and then, but I'll show you the process of everything. The tools you will need to install a fan. Uh, I, usually raise, I use a razor knife to open the box and to strip wire sometimes. Electrical test to make sure I don't shock myself even though the light is off. Some wire strippers, uh, a screwdriver, and then I use uh, upgraded wire nets because the ones they send with the fan are just kind of small and jinky. So I usually just throw those away and use those. But you can use those if you want. And it comes with the screws, hardware. Uh, these are the little pull chains for the fan and light because I'm going to be wiring it in this room back here in the guest room and I'm going to be using uh can't remember what I was gonna say turn this light on I'm going to be using I don't know I uh, will turn you around uh, that way I had a chance to pause it and remember what I was gonna say uh oh man memory's terrible I'm going to be using one light switch uh, because there's only one it's not like a three-way where there's actually two wires going to it so I can't control the fan and the light separately so I will wire the fan and the light together on this switch, and then you can control them separately with the pull chains. So that's the plan. So got a lamp in the window, but I also have a work light in here. Uh, that way I can see when the lights go out. So I'll put this here. Hopefully it will help with the filming and lighting and such. So anyways, let's get that stuff. Let's remove uh, that light fixture and then bring the fan in, and I'll try to show you step by step on how to do it. So we got the old light fixture down. If you're wondering why I was just tossing glass light bulbs and glass, uh, the glass covers because I have a bean bag on the ground, so I was able to catch it. So we got the old fixture down. That was just a matter of loosening two screws uh, and then turning it to make the holes line up with the screws that way it falls out. And then we cut the wires. White one is neutral, black one is hot, uh, and the ground is up in the box. So we'll have to tie the new ground and the light into the box. So we're going to keep those screws there because we're going to use a new fixture and put it up, tighten those screws down, and it'll hold it in place. 
And then we can start mounting the ceiling fan and all that stuff, and it's gonna look much better. Do you want in? <laughs> he's, he's just been knocked on the door, but he stops when I have video. Okay, ready? Here we go. Hi. Where are you going? Can we get your toy? Can you make a squeak? Can we make a squeak? He tore up his bed today, and so now he's sleeping with my Captain America blanket. Ah, get down. Um, in his kennel. So, tons of energy. There it is, there's a squeak. <laughs> He's doing much better though, much better. Anyways, uh, let's put this together. On a second note, you kind of keep an eye on your dog because he likes to do whatever he wants and apparently he likes light bulbs as well. Uh, what do you got in your mouth there, Copper? Are you supposed to have that? Are you supposed to have that? Can I have it? If you're worried right now, it's just an LED bulb, so the light bulb is actually not glass, it's plastic. What are you doing? No, sir. No, that was not a bright idea. Pun of the day, I guess. <laughs> He'll put these back. Oh, look, my battery's dying. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, back to it. put these together you basically just want to pick what side you want facing down so it comes with a wood like grayish color uh, or it comes with white uh, white's gonna match what we're gonna do so we're gonna stick the white facing down and then stick this bracket right here and then it comes with these little like cardboard washers and just put those near the hole and then take your little screws that they come with and then put it through the washer and you do the blind and do the blind I've been doing blind all week <clears throat> into the fan blade. And then once you get all three of them done, and you just do it all over and over again until they're all done. But we've already done all these already. Just have this one to do. So when it's done, it'll look like this. And then we can install them. So next up is uh, this thing here, which is the a thing that mounts straight to the box and then we can run the wires through the hole and then attach them all so let's go do that real quick okay so the screw that they have for the box was a little bit too long because it's running used to run through the light fixture and then into the box so now that this is kind of more of a flush mount there's not enough thread space for that screw so you can use drywall screws to secure these i have used them a lot and they have never failed me but use your own judgment on that thing. Uh, also make sure that your box is secure in the ceiling because you don't want to be attaching something that's only held like a, a half a pound of worth of light fixture and then you add a ceiling fan that weighs five, seven pounds or something like that and this falls out in the middle of the night when someone's sleeping and crashed into the ceiling like a crashing helicopter. That would be good. So uh, we'll double check to make sure the box is secure before we actually rent the place out. You know what I mean? So then with the screw we go. Just in case you're not a fan of electricity or wiring, I mean, maybe you might be a fan of electricity, but not the actual wiring of it because it's dangerous. It's not really that bad. Uh, at least not to me, I don't think. So we've got the ground wire coming out here and then attach the ground from the base here and the ground from the fixture up here into the ground wire nut together. You twist those wires together and then wire nut it. Um, works great. So the blue wire here is for the light and the black one is for the motor. So the motor just turns a fan. And so we put those together, like I said, because we're only running one light switch. So there's only one hot wire in here. So when you run those both to that hot wire and then the neutrals always go to the neutral. So that's easy. So white, white, black and blue to the red because uh, that's power and then the ground here. So the cool thing about this is that you can mount this on that little hook as you're wiring it. So it sits there and then you just loosen these screws and then slide it in these holes and then line it up and then tighten it down and this thing will be mounted. Next piece is this dish looking thing here. It's got these screws on the back with little rubber grommets underneath of it. This slides up there and turns clockwise. Ta-da! 
the next thing to install are these fan blades. Uh, and there's our five of them. And they are pretty simple. We have holes all the way around the bottom here that you can uh, see probably right there. I don't know if you can actually because I can't see the camera, but these just go and they line up with those holes and then you screw them down. So let's uh, put those up there. Next item on the list is the light fixture portion of it. You can see it has three screws, one, two, three. That little plate there on the bottom has three screws around it as well. Take those out and I'll expose all the wires and you can clip them back in and then you can do all the rest of the stuff. So let's take that out. One screw. Two screw. Three screw. Okay, now you got all three screws out. The little plate is out. A little contractor tip if you want one is if you drop a screw, especially something this small, into the carpet, stop what you're doing and look and listen for that screw because it'll save you time, tons of time on your hands and knees searching for a screw when all you could do is just look down and find it when it drops. So tip, follow the screw. That's comes from years of experience. <sighs> okay, and then you got this little thing which is important, just a little cardboard cover. And you've got a blue one and a white one. And you just plug this little fan light fixture thing there's a white one and a black one you just plug them in and then you push this back up and put the screws in next up are these things which uh if you know the name of these things please leave in a comment below because i have completely forgotten and uh, i don't remember what they're called but they're kind of like a lampshade but glass and you can buy them at home depot lowe's wherever uh and you can replace them if you want them to look different or if you break one they have spares of these so you don't have to buy a whole new fan so if you're ever in that predicament you can go buy these so these just go up into here and it has three little screws that grip around the outside of this there's a silicone band in there to keep it from making noise if it gets loose uh you just tighten those by hand and it holds it in place just like this You do it two more times and you're done. Next up are the light bulbs, which are just as easy as putting them in the threads and turning them in. And then your last thing are your little pull strings. One is for the fan, one is for the light. Uh, and you can tell which one is which by turning the light switch on for the first time and seeing if your work works. Okay, so light on, yay! Okay, now this should be the light, if I remember right. Yep. So we'll put the light one on there, and then we'll stick the fan one on the fan one. And it's just as easy as... Whew, don't let that get you sick. See this little thing there? You just stick one of the balls from up there inside that slot and then pull it forward and then it'll click in place and you can adjust these so as long or as short as you want. And down. Two down. And that, with that, your fan is complete. Let me turn the fan off while I talk to you so it's not so disturbing. So we used to always do that as kids, playing with the fans, laying on the bunk beds and touching the fan and making noise. And I remember dad always like, uh, don't do that. You're gonna mess up the balance of the fan. And it probably did because our fan is noisy, but it kind of one of those noises that you fall asleep to after a while. So maybe we uh, helped ourselves out. So let's do a little review here. We've got the fan mounted to the box by that plate. And then the actual motor is mounted to that plate. And then your cover, and then you follow it up with the fan blades and then your light box, and then your lights. Sorry, I can't see this during the light bulb. 
And then also, just in case you don't know, there is a switch on here and that causes uh, your fan to switch directions. And so if you're in the winter time and all your hot air is on your ceiling, you put it in reverse basically and the fan will push the hot air down. Or if it's like the summertime and you want it to be cool, you can pull, uh, push the button up and it'll spin the opposite way, pulling the cold air from the floor up to the ceiling, which will cool you down. So if, in case you haven't done that before, fans can do that. It's pretty cool, huh? So that's it. So let me show you something cool because uh, we're going to be putting one in the uh, living room here, uh, but there is no wiring, of course, for lights in the living room because the house was built in 1973. Uh, we still have the wires hanging precariously from where the wall used to be here, but we're going to be putting a box there and rerouting into a conjunction box and then into new wiring and then putting uh, a outlet in the wall and all that stuff. But there's a box downstairs here, and it is what I would use uh, if I were putting in a light or a fan like I'm doing now. It's got this metal bar, which is adjustable. It can slide to fit whatever uh, ceiling joist you have. So say for instance, you're putting a light in here, it goes up in there and then you nail it on each side with the nailing flange. And then the box itself is adjustable. And then you tighten the screws in there and it'll lock it in place where you want it. So when we go to stick a fan up in the upstairs, which sneak peek here, we haven't really done much more down here, but it's the second unit. We're trying to get the one upstairs finished completely first and then get this one livable so we can rent out the top unit. That's the plan. Uh, so why we're still waiting on things down here, no worries that we're finishing things upstairs. So let's turn the lights off down here and get back upstairs. So I know that's a pretty simple video on how to install a fan. Uh, hopefully it was entertaining enough. Uh, the great news about our channel is it is growing. Uh, I think we gained 10 subscribers in the last uh, like four days, which is amazing. I think that it has to do with the short video that I made about the copper, sweating the copper uh, fitting to PEX. It's got like 8,200 views at this moment, uh, which might be our first video that goes over five digits, five digits, see my thumb there, uh, which is exciting. So we're at 146 subscribers as of now. We'll be at a thousand tomorrow, you know, maybe we'll see, <laughs> uh, hopefully soon anyways. And then we get 4,000 view hours very quickly with that many people watching. So I'm excited to continue on. Hopefully you are too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz down below. Uh, leave a comment in the description for me, please, what the name of that vase is, whatever that, whatever that glass thing is. Uh, we'll catch you later. Hope you have a good one. God bless.